You are watching a master at work. So today I'm going to show you how to install the GK Tech high misalignment outer tie rod ends. Um, I already centered the rack off camera so basically we're just going to get right into it. So you take your steering rack ends and to center them they both have to have a stub on each side equal to two and a half inches. That's centered. Then screw in your inner tie rod end and let me unbox the kit. It has three different lengths of what you can use. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, so what you want to do is get you some Officer Dan goodies. Freaking figure out how to pop these bad boys open. Oh look. There is a tapey. Because Dan is such a fine man. He secures your products for you. Let me set this guy down here and open this up. So, they have um, our Skyline chassis parts also, but this is S13, so I ordered these. So you basically just pick your specified loadout and then you, you open them up, you order them, send them out, and then you have your freaking awesome products that work and give your car better handling. All right. All right, there we go. So, get your goodies here. Oh no, look at this. How did we do? You guys did great. You guys always give me great customer service, so thank you. You got your dust boots dust boots here for the ends they give you three different lengths of uh, 6061 aluminum here it looks like it's to be anodized black so um, this would be if you were using their inner tie rod ends which are cut to fit and it looks like they include just two not three which is fine and they give you an old instruction booklet. Thank God, because when I first ordered these lower control arms, I was like the first in the country with them in like 2016 or 15 or whatever. And they had no instruction, so I like just put them together. I didn't know what was going on, you know? So I just put them on. And they were wrong, so now I figured out that I could do them the right way with their instruction videos that Dan Brockett puts out. So, you want to take these and thank God they're pre-assembled because I am a special person when it comes to that. Oh nice, so they give you three rods, the ones already included on the tie rod because it's pre-assembled. So, basically this is a shank that is spaced. So they have installation spacers which are these tapered ones and then they have bump steer spacers. So basically when you put these tie rod ends on into the knuckle, you want to get them parallel, angular, with the lower control arm, because that's what bump steer is, is when this is off angle. So say your tie rod ends like this because your car's lowered all crazy or lifted all crazy, and the, the lower control arm um, trajectory or uh, triangular measurement, the uh, right angle is not even with this right angle, so that's going to cause bump steer at full lock. That's when you get your steering wheel you start feeling it do this on its own it's wiggling that's not good that damages parts and yeah so I'm gonna put these on and show you how to do that let me get the inner tie rods on first alright so these tie rod ends are 2006 Maxima Nissan Maxima inner tie rod ends are about 12 and a half inches I have the steering rack spacers I don't know if I will need those but that's what I used before and then the factory S14 95 S14 outer tie rod ends. They don't give you bump steer, they just give you factory misalignment. 
these ones actually adjust, so that's why I went to them. So I centered my rack, I'm gonna put one of these on over there, and we're gonna put it on.
All right, so that's what it looks like when you cut it off. This is tight. You can see there's no wiggly. No wiggly. I gotta tighten it on the bottom probably a little more to suck up to that shank. And then you tighten these, but obviously I'm not going to because I'm gonna do an alignment, but. There you go, that's how you can see, look at that. Perfect bump stop. Bump steer adjustment, parallel to the lower control arm. And ta-da, obviously when it compresses from the weight of the car, it's gonna go up at the same rate because it's connected to the same thing, so. Um, and then when you tighten this, you know, make sure your rod end is straight and then put the boot on, so. All right, so that's how to install the GK Tech outer tie rod ends and make your inners work. Um, the next video, I'm gonna do an update on the ends, how to align a drift car, what the good settings are, and the next tie rod ends, I'm gonna buy as backups that are this length. So uh, thanks for watching. Short little video, um, I appreciate it. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment, and tell your friends, and drop a comment and see what you think or what your opinion is of this.